Okay. Shall we poke the bear or praise common sense? Okay. You, put, you went into it. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to say it. Apple's being taken to court by the U.S. Gov for monopolistic antitrust things regarding ebooks. And that is definitely poking the bear because I am absolutely convinced the next time Bit comes on here, he's going to go, now I want to take a second and address what you said about the ebooks <laughs> and about Apple. <laughs> I, I don't know why. He's like, he just, he has faith in Apple to do it right, regardless of the means or sun and other stuff. But I, well, the Messiah's gone. Ah. Uh, What? Never mind. I said bit, not this I this. I don't even know what's going on with this I this. No, I said the Apple's Messiah. Oh. I said he just sent it to hell not too long ago. You know, I'm just poking the bear in good fun. Why, why do you have to, uh, to, to send it to hell? What the hell kind of crack is that? Are you with all the people who were protesting his funeral? Call me. When did you join the cult? <laughs> Anybody who would like to write Commodore hate mail, you could direct it to Commodore. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Um, but do you all, either one of you think that? Do you, first off, do you think Apple's? I'm doing nothing. No, yeah. Audience, are you hearing creaking? Uh, okay, ignoring the phantom creaking for a moment. First off, do either one of you think Apple's guilty of the charges? Well, I don't think it's really fair, even though I don't like Apple. Um, you know, what, doesn't Amazon have more market share than Apple? That's not what it's about. It's about the price it's fixing. It's about collusion. That's really what it's about. Yeah, it's about collusion and price fixing. Yeah, but is it? No, no, that is not how, th that, that's what the complaint's about. The complaint is about things should be priced on supply and demand. If I make yeah. goods, I should be able to price. that happens all the time with software and Steam. Like, no, like, no, no. Steam that iTunes, you know, it's supply and demand. The, demand the, the, the supply is infinite. No, that's not what they're talking about. Um, S Steam does not tell people who list games on Steam, you have to sell it at this price. Apple does. And that's what the people that sell at that price, the people who sell stuff digitally, they set a price and and it has nothing to do with supply and demand. It's like okay, okay how much people buy It has it? everything to do with supply and demand, but that's an economics well, thing. Demand, though, and uh, 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 that demand uh, will pay for it and how how we make much money as much money as we can, but it's not about, you know, supply because the supply is different. No it isn't. Call me. When, since when do we have infinite bandwidth and infinite electricity and infinite hours of runtime? Okay, I'm just saying it's, it's infinitely reproducible. Okay, so when do we have infinite bandwidth, infinite runtime, infinite electricity? Saying, if, that, if that's your argument, call me, then the same can be said for books. Uh, it costs like 50 cents worth of electricity and like, uh, I don't know, $2 worth of bandwidth. Okay, and they sell it for 99 cents, so that's, hmm, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, but, um, no, the, the argument here has to do with the pricing thing, and that is, particularly in the case of Apple, they say, you have to offer the lowest price here, you have to charge more everywhere else, you have to, basically they're doing price fixing and collusion, uh, and then they're... Exactly. It, it, even if Apple's charging you a higher fee, you have to have a lower price over here, and that's what this uh, case is over. Oh, uh, it's about the okay, it's our walled garden, we control it thing. Yeah, well, it, it's not about the walled garden, they control it. It's about using it to instigate price fixing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, and it's anti competitive pricing. Right. Uh, um, the, because um, I can have a Steam on a. Uh, I can't have a sale on Android because you would know, mess up my iOS price. 
Exactly. Or on Amazon, or on Sant, or on anywhere else, if if they offer favorable fees and stuff. Uh, but before I get your reaction on that, Bob, you've been looking in quizzically. Did you have a vote on whether you think they're guilty or not? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, yes, no, you have, have a vote, or yes, you think they're guilty? Yeah, I have both. Uh, Apple doesn't like competition. You never have. <laughs> so, what's the best way? Oh, get all the book publishers to make them think Amazon the bad guy on all this. Now, do they, does Amazon make them charge lower prices? Yes, but on the same note, they give them higher volume. So, Amazon does it on the, for our missing economists here that normally is here. Man. <laughs> they're, go, they're going the other way. They're making a demand at lower prices so that you're getting your equilibrium at a different spot. Whereas Apple is going to be, well, you have to charge it lower here, but we take more of it. Well, now, if Apple loses this case, though, it would also underwrite uh, other companies from really doing any kind of thing. Basically, it would put pricing goods completely in the charge of the publishers. You know, you decide how much you want to charge to absorb whatever the costs are. Wh wh which would, wh the, see, that, who that would hurt most would be whoever's charging the highest fee because they would charge more for selling it and whoever's charging the highest fee. If that's Apple, the book's going to be a dollar more on Apple. If it's Amazon, the book's going to be a dollar more on Amazon to deal with the higher fee, which means whoever's being the most greedy is going to have the highest uh, inventory cost because they're being greedy and their publishers are saying, well, we'll just pass the cost on to your customers. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. That, 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 that argument is bullshit. We all know when you raise taxes, prices go down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's what the Obama told me. <laughs> but the Obama told me. If we raise the taxes, my gas prices will go down. And did they? Well, that's not his fault. It's the evil, greedy oil companies. They didn't do what he told them to. <laughs> Never mind the fact that the government gets eight times as much as the price of a gallon of gas as it is now. <laughs> that the oil company does. It's the, oil, it's the evil, greedy oil company. They're prospering. How dare they? <laughs> Only the government should prosper. <laughs> How the heck did we, I'm sorry, I should have done that. <laughs> okay, to everybody, I apologize. You will get back to technology now. I promise. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I just, I cannot take it anymore. I am sick to death of these uh, Obama-Biden ads. Just, I, I thought, I, got, I, I do not have the patience for the bullshit. Every freaking time I turn on my damn Roku, every time I turn on Hulu, I, I see a freaking Obama-Biden ad that tells me the following bullshit is why you should hate the Republicans. And then I go somewhere else and the following bullshit is why you should hate the Democrats. I'm sick of it. Stop it. Just stick to the fucking facts and stop making up shit. The American people are not that stupid. I hope. You have I hope. I hope they're not that stupid. I hope they realize that that's all lies and bullshit, and they're smart enough to realize it. You know, it was nice why the Republic lasted, but we didn't want our rights anyways, right? <laughs> the, the pro you know how it went, like in PC repair, the problem is between the keyboard and the chair? Well, in the voting booth, the problem is between the pen and the floor. No, no, it's a, they're touch screens now. 
Depending where you live. <laughs> uh, there should be a re-republic. You think I've joined the NSF, Bob? Uh, what about this Mr. Political debate? Bob doesn't take sides. Bob thinks everyone's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to acclimate towards your position. Uh, I, Hunger Games, here we come. <laughs> That's, I said, what district are you in? 13. I went away. I couldn't take it anymore. I just let him genocide me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bob's one of the. Let's just press the big red button and get the hell over with. It, see how we're. We're all screwed, anyways. Uh, okay, getting back to technology before we completely alienate our audience. Too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> I need to get that part from Clue where they just yell "too late." We need that on a, on a track here. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, make yeah, a long I'm story probably. short. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Uh, the, some good news in the Apple camp. Apple and Samsung appear to be reaching common sense ground and just settling. Going, hi, Samsung will continue to give Apple hardware that allows Apple to claim they invented it and continue to rate people on it and therefore driving the price of what's left of Samsung goods up because they take the entire first run of purchase. And Apple will stop suing Samsung for fucking up Android. <laughs> Sounds like a mutually beneficial relationship to me. People want to know why I say we're screwed. <laughs> well, you honestly wonder why the suit got that far to begin with. I mean, you're just imagining the situation where you have a Samsung rep walking into Apple headquarters to negotiate the next supply run for them, and in the very next office or cubicle or room over, there's a representative from Samsung arguing with Apple about the frivolousness of their lawsuit. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Well, I think they realized it was time to maybe stop this shit when the judge pointed out, okay, how much money do you give them every fucking year? It's like seven billion and you're suing them because they supply you with goods and it, what? Stop. Stop. My companies always do this. You know, it's just all the stupid greed and like frivolous like idiocracy, you know? Uh, I, you know, you're asking the wrong person. It's one thing if there's an actual infringement, but more and more it's a case of just endless posturing. Yeah, it, endless posturing in which ultimately we, the freaking consumer, get fucked. <laughs> Condi, it's something you would know really, really well about. Trolling. Ah! 